Some may call it the uh, some may call it the stupid tax, but <laughs> but, but somebody's got to win it, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can't win if you don't play. Right. If you're lucky, Powerball's jackpot's now up to six hundred and ten million dollars. It's the eighth largest jackpot in the Powerball's thirty-year history. This jackpot crossed the six hundred million dollar mark after no ticket matched all six numbers drawn Saturday night. Now the six hundred and ten million dollar prize is a cash value of about two hundred and ninety two million. Ooh. The next drawing is tonight. Good luck. There you go. You can even buy tickets online. I've done that before. Oh, too. I didn't even know you yeah, could do that. Yeah, man. It's a little dangerous. Mm, it is. <laughs> well, and, you know, we haven't even made it to Halloween yet, but man, it, I guess it's never too early to start talking about Christmas. Yeah, Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park getting ready for their annual holiday show. It's November 5th. From 9 to 5, more than 40 artisans and vendors will showcase an assortment of home decor, jewelry, candles, toys, and more. This event is included with your admission. And due to the nationwide turkey shortage, what? You heard yep. about you heard about that, yep. right? Yep. All right, there's a yep. there may be a turkey shortage, prices are going up. Make sure and plan ahead for this year's Mel Trotter Turkey Drop. It's an important fundraiser. It's November 16th from 7 to 7. You can drop off any frozen turkey at Celebration Cinema North and South in Grand Rapids and also at Mel Trotter Ministries downtown location. Now the goal this year is to collect 5,000 birds. Oof. Nice. Yeah, big time. But hey, mark your calendars and save the date for June 9th, 2023. <laughs> so uh, very uh, far. I don't have that for, calendar yet. Right? Yeah, we got to get it first. Now, uh, Ren, Ren, Rendezvous. Rendezvous? Yes. Rendezvous is back and better than ever with a tropical neon twist. Rendezvous, Michigan's wildest party with a purpose, is sure to be the event of next summer. Now join John Ball Zoo as they celebrate wildlife, wild places, and conservation of both. Ron DeZoo will feature live music, local food, drinks, animal experiences, and more. Now ticket proceeds and donations from the night will go towards supporting John Ball Zoo conservation projects around the world and right here in West Michigan. Sweet and spicy. You like them both? Well, here you go. Pop-tarts pop hopping on board. Kellogg's Pop-Tarts is now teaming up with Tajin and Fruity Chamoy Hot Sauce to cross up your taste buds and shake up your no. routine. Here we go. The popular Mexican seasoning, the Chamoy Sauce, which features a blend of mild chili peppers, sea salt, and lime. I'm sorry, that was the first one. That was the Tajin. Oh, yeah. Then comes the Fruity Chamoy Sauce. They now come in limited edition kits. Yeah, frosted strawberry, frosted wildberry, Ew. and peach cobbler. Ugh. Peach cobbler pop tarts? That's a new one. They're all included <laughs> for a crazy good taste mix. Now the snack kit's gonna be available starting tomorrow. You just put that uh, spicy sauce mm -hmm. right on your pop tart. No, no. I was talking to some people the other day. I, if it's not frosted, I like to put a little bit of butter. That oh. makes sense. On my pop tarts. Okay, but I put I'm, mine in the toaster. Right, like microwave. Yeah, and, and, then, and then butter to melt it, right? No, no, no. no it's pretty good. If you don't have the frosting, the <laughs> they're really dry good. if they don't have frosting. Yeah. Right, right. But I've never considered putting hot sauce. No, yeah, absolutely not. On the pop tart. No. Some people love it. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> Candace is a Something definite. Something for everyone. She's a no. But none of us. A definite no. She, she's a no. But I'm a yes for today's weather, too. So, yeah, okay. we'll take it. I'm a yes. Yes. We're doing a little bit of a repeat from the weekend. Another gorgeous day. Uh, we did have a few showers around this morning, but those are already starting to head on out. We're going to get towards mostly cloudy, partly sunny. So, of course, we're already seeing some sun peek through this morning. And we'll hold on to that for the rest of the day. Still temperatures in the lower 70s. We'll keep uh, 70 degrees tomorrow. That rain arriving in the second half of the day on Tuesday and then keeping with us into Wednesday morning when a cold front moves through and Wednesday that's when our temperatures will drop off but really back towards seasonal so we have another gorgeous weekend coming up which should be 57 degrees this time of year and we're hitting 56 Friday 58 Saturday 59 on Sunday.